Hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about vaccine production. Vaccine plays a crucial role as a biotherapeutic agent. So we have to know what is vaccine. A vaccine is a substance that helps the body's immune system create antibodies to fight off diseases. So vaccine mimic what happens when the body is attacked by a germ like a virus or bacteria but without making the person sick. So we can say vaccines prepare our body to fight against any future infection caused by any microorganism mainly harmful microorganism. Now there are different types of vaccines. First of all, there is inactivated vaccines, live attenuated vaccines, messenger RNA or mRNA vaccines, subunit, recombinant, polysaccharide and conjugate vaccine, toxoid vaccines and viral vector vaccines. Now there are several stages involved in vaccine production. First of all, generation or isolation of antigen, then purification, then inactivation, then formulation, then filling, then quality control and batch release, and finally packaging and shipping. Now, this is a flowchart of the steps involved in vaccine production. Now, I am going to discuss about all these. The first stage in vaccine production involves generation or isolation of antigen. The initial production involves generation of the antigen from the microbe. For this, the virus or microbe is grown either on primary cells such as chicken eggs like in influenza or on cell lines or cultured human cells like hepatitis A or sometimes bacteria against which the vaccines are developed may be grown in bioreactors like Haemophilus influenzae type B. The antigen may also be a toxin or toxoid from the organism like in diphtheria or tetanus or it may be a part of the microorganism as well. Proteins or parts from the organism can be generated in yeast, bacteria or cell culture. After the antigen is generated, it is isolated from the cells used to generate it. Now comes purification. For weakened or attenuated viruses, no further purification may be required. Recombinant proteins need many operations involving centrifugation, ultrafiltration and chromatography for example ion exchange chromatography, column chromatography, size exclusion chromatography techniques for purification before they are ready for administration. This flowchart describes how purification process takes place in vaccine production. After harvesting, the purification process starts and it continues till size exclusion column. Here you can see after that viral inactivation takes place. Now let's go to the next step inactivation. Bacteria or viruses may be weakened using chemicals like formaldehyde compounds or heat to make the vaccine like in polio vaccine and recent one of the vaccine is Covaxin made for COVID-19 disease is also a inactivated vaccine and the pathogen particles are destroyed and cannot divide but the pathogen maintains some of their integrity to be recognized by the immune system and evoke an adapted immune response. Now the next step is formulation. After the development of antigen, the vaccine is formulated by adding adjuvants, stabilizer and preservatives. The role of adjuvant is to enhance the immune response. The stabilizers increase the storage life and the preservatives are added to vaccines during manufacturing to prevent microbial growth and contamination by bacteria and fungus. They are usually only used in vials with more than one dose. Now lyophilization contribute to the longevity and stability of the selected vaccines. Now the next step is filling. The vaccine is in liquid and freeze diet form 
and diluents are added with it. Now once formulated, the vaccine is precisely filled into small bioprocess containers or syringes ensuring accurate doses. Means the syringes are filled according to the required doses. The final stage of quality control ensures the alchemy of safety and potency is perfected. Now this stage subjects the vaccine to a series of tests and inspections guaranteeing it meets stringent regulatory standards. Every batch undergoes scrutiny for purity, potency and consistency. After successful evaluation, distribution of the batches are made. If a batch is not able to meet the quality criteria, it is destroyed. Now the final step is the packaging and shipping. After successful quality checking, the vials are packed and shipped. The packages must be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius mainly and different vaccines require different temperature. Temperature tracking device is included in each shipment. Now let's discuss about the significance of vaccine production. First of all, disease prevention and control. Vaccines are essential tools for preventing and controlling infectious diseases. They protect individuals and communities by building immunity against specific pathogens. Widespread vaccination contributes to disease eradication like smallpox and elimination like polio. Polio disease has been eliminated, you can say. And next is public health impact. Vaccination programs have led to the decline of many deadly diseases like measles, diphtheria, tetanus. They reduce morbidity, mortality and healthcare costs because we are preparing ourselves from the future, future infections. It plays a crucial role in global health security. Vaccines play a crucial role in global health security like they prevent outbreaks especially in vulnerable populations and during emergencies like in pandemics as we all have seen at the time of covid now economic benefits vaccination programs save lives and contribute to economic growth also healthy populations are more productive and less burdened by illness as illness decline the economic growth so vaccination gives us economic benefits. It also allows future research and innovations like vaccine production drives research and innovation in biotechnology and pharmaceuticals. Advances in vaccine technology benefit other medical fields also. In summary, we can say vaccine production is a cornerstone of public health, disease prevention and global well-being. So thank you for watching the video. We'll meet you in the next video.